Action. So treat the so treat this. <laughs> Growing up was a very interesting, good, bad in the middle. Um, I was very shy, very to myself. Um, so much so that like teachers in the school I went to in kindergarten told my mom like maybe I should go to speech therapy because I was very quiet and I didn't actually speak at school. So so that was a very interesting dynamic. But other than that, it was just very like. I wouldn't say lonely, but I was like, I found comfort in like being by myself most of the time. There was just a lot going on in the neighborhood and my family, and it wasn't that I didn't have anything to say. It was more so that I liked keeping things in just out of comfort. And then once I realized that writing was a good outlet and I liked writing, that's how I communicated versus vocally speaking about it. Uh, what really helped me cope was music. I grew up in a Jamaican household, so a lot of dancehall, a lot of reggae, but then also a lot of hip-hop, R&B, and soul. And so I would love just listening to music, being around music, and um, eventually I actually started writing down the lyrics to the songs, and that's kind of how everything all started. But the real turning point was in the sixth grade when my cousin got shot. Um, it drove me crazy because at the moment when I found out, I didn't know whether he would survive or pass away. And so in the moment, I didn't write about it, but afterwards I would write about it and anything I went through that was troubling or hard. And I didn't know back then, but writing actually saved my life and thankfully he survived as well. So the words I wrote back then and the words I write today are very raw, very personal to me. Sometimes they're very scary, in fact. But I think when I add beats to it and I, and I record it and I put it out in the universe for others to enjoy, to listen to, or to relate to, it becomes for them and less for me. And I feel like that's a great thought process and a work process that works for me. I think I'm the most authentic version of myself when I'm writing, but also when I'm with children and youth. So thanks to Unity, I am a facilitator today and I may be teaching youth, but the truth is I learned so much from them as well and I actually think it's one of the most rewarding professions out there. I think the reason I have so much to offer to Unity is because I actually started as a Unity youth. Um, it was the ninth grade um, after school program in Scarborough where I was already writing beforehand, writing music and poetry, but going to that program actually made me feel like I belonged and I, I found a community. So from back then to getting a community, to getting performance opportunities, to actually performing my first gig, to meeting other talented artists, Unity has been there every step of the way. That's why when the opportunity came up to become an artist facilitator, I had no second thoughts. It was a position combined with everything that I love, music, writing music, poetry, and being with youth and actually providing community for youth and being a part of that community as well. I'm also a part of the board of directors here at Unity because I have big dreams for Unity. I want to leave an impact, I want to ignite the fire in people. I know my life's trajectory wouldn't have been the same without Unity's after school program, Unity's festival, and the Unity community. What Unity did for me, I want to be able to do for others. So when someone asks me what I do for a living, I can say, I saved a life today. <laughs>